Today's question is, Mike, is it still difficult to intervene even when you know what to do? We're gonna talk about that in today's video. So let's get right into today's video and the question. The question is, is it easier to intervene once you become an expert in this, once you know how to do it? Does it become easier? Is it still difficult at times? Here's the key to, to remember when it comes to intervening in a dangerous situation where you see somebody being set up to be sexually assaulted. Somebody's trying to facilitate a sexual assault onto another human being and you realize, hey, I need to do something. The key is that it might not be easy. Intervening intervention is not always easy. The right thing to do is often not easy. So in those difficult moments in life, we have to turn to one major, major thought in our mind, one major question, and it's one word. We need to think about our why. Why should I intervene right now? And your why is very easy. You see a human being that deserves dignity and respect who potentially is being set up to be sexually assaulted, raped. You are literally right in front of you have the opportunity to potentially stop a sexual assault. Say that to yourself. If I do nothing, this person could be sexually assaulted. If I do something, I could potentially stop this right now. I need to do something. And then no, there's no wrong way to intervene. Like if you think, what if I mess it up? Give it your best shot. That's the key. Doing nothing is the only wrong move I can make in that kind of a situation. Doing something is always better than nothing in these moments. You could call other people for help. You could call the authorities. You get a group together, intervene. You could distract one or both the people. You could find their friends. There's a million possibilities. Intervention is the key. Remember your why. That's the critical to this. You have the opportunity to stop a sexual assault. That is priceless.